up everybody this is sins of a scorpion and i'm coming back with a psychopathic cd collection part two right there okay now um this is the jewel cases that i have i think i'm missing a couple i'm not sure <clears throat> i'm gonna have to look and second i th not only am i missing i think i'm missing some i think but I also want to say that I do not have everything that Psychopathic has ever put out. So I'm not going to have the OGs of everything. I'm not going to have the most rarest of rare. Um, mainly because from I live in a small town. Uh, not only do I live in a small town, but I live in a state that Psychopathic never tours. So I don't have. I'm not going to have all the tour stuff. I'm not going to have all the you know the cool stuff, which I will not go on eBay and spend a hundred dollars on a CD. A vinyl or a cassette. I do have a couple of cassettes that I won't be showing. But I'm not gonna sit there and spend a bunch of money on a CD I could get that there is a possibility, and there's always this possibility because video games are doing it and DVDs will soon, uh, movies will soon be doing this. The company themselves will put it out on digital distribution, and then the CD goes down in price. Final Fantasy 7. I know this is a not a video game thing, but Final Fantasy 7 was is a great example of this. One, you get uh, the actual black label Final Fantasies are selling upwards to 100 $150, and then as soon as PSN put it out, boom, now it's down to like 30 or 40 dollars. So the actual price of which you could have gotten it, it's pointless to spend. For me, it's pointless. But for other people, hey, I enjoy watching collection videos of rare stuff. Don't like how, you know, I get to hear about, you know, how it spent, how somebody spent like 200 bucks just to get something. No, 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 no. <laughs> collection is, I mean, true collectors, you know, hell yeah, man. Hell yeah. Keep doing it. Keep doing it. Because it's, it's awesome to watch. But for me, no. <laughs> okay. Anyway. Enough of that stupid little rant thing I just did. Uh, I know this is a, a redo, so this is ROC, Dark Side. Welcome to the Dark Side. I already knew I put that up there. I think this was also in the CD case, right as each hit and die. This one I know it wasn't. Backdoor right as. Which is a EP that was on Psychopath. Uh, Hatchy gear. Yeah, that's enough of that. Little kitties might be watching. Dayton family. This is charges of indictment. Which, it's a good CD. But, um, the thing about it is, like, my favorite tracks were on here. So, if, you, if I had this, and I bought this, it's like, I should have just kept it with this. No, nothing against Dayton family. Because their songs are good, but... All of my favorite songs were on this one, the Psycho EP. Still a good CD, so. Uh, Mikey Clark, Murder Mix 2. Mashes and Remix. I think this one has my favorite one. Ah, I can't remember it. Yeah. I'll figure it out one of these times. Yeah, maybe it's on this one. Nah, this is DJ Clay's Book of the Wicked. This is, has awesome cover art. Look at that. That, I swear, is Dimitri Maximoff from the Darkstalkers universe. <laughs> Freaking cool artwork on this. And that was chapter one, by the way. Now, this is Blaze Gang Rags. And. That's actually the CD, and this is the cover, uh, the box it came with. And you had your choices of different colors, and I got the white one. Next up, Boondocks, South of Hell. This CD cover is beat the hell out of. Very good CD. Um, still prefer the Harvest. Definitely does not mean this is a bad CD. There's a couple of these on that are pretty good. Just Die was pretty good. Nothing to lose. Uh, Where Do I Go? That's actually a really good CD. Watch Your Back has a ICP on it. This also comes with a DVD. 
just that's the CD and that's the DVD with a fake documentary on there. Whew, I gotta get a new case for that, or just put it in my binder. <sighs> ABK medicine bag, better than Mudface. Oh, look what we got next. It would be Mudface. <laughs> I have nothing good to say about that one. Uh, Cryptic Collection Volume 4, which a lot of these songs are on other CDs. So, I mean, I don't really know what's so uh, cryptic about it, but they got a Magic Magic Ninjas and Big Money, which was never released with Little Stank and Big Poop. So, I mean, it's a pretty good CD. And if you pre ordered that, then you got the autograph which was actually on the plastic so but if you know how to take plastic off then you can just put it in the in a frame and it looks pretty sweet wicked i'm pretty sure this was on my first one but oh let's see if it's in here got the twisted one twisted and one dark lotus not signed <laughs> not signed I was happy when I opened it up and I saw it was the Dark Lotus one, and then, yeah, wasn't wasn't signed, but I'm still psyched that I got the Dark Lotus one. Heartbroken and Homicidal. Got a little pen in there, or a pencil in there. Not my favorite Twisted CD. Bang Pow Boom, this is a nuclear edition, which comes with the, like, Over a Bitch, which is a bonus track. Our Hero, Chop Chop Slide, Supernatural, Tonight, It's All Over, and the Bang Pow Boom Sampler. Three of them were not released. So Supernatural was not released, Tonight was not released, and It's All Over was not released. And then it comes with a video with a DVD, which has In Your Face, uh, Miracles, and Family Underground, the documentary, which I think was a different cut than the actual released one. This is American Psychos. This is a tour exclusive, but they sold it on Hatchy Gear, so pretty good. And then a way for Island to make more mu um, money off of ICP, the Icons Collection, which has What Is a Juggalo, Hocus Pocus, The Ned and Game, Boogie Woogie Woo, Piggy's Pie. That's the old school one, so from like Forgotten Freshness. Another love song. Fuck the world, rainbows and stuff, tilt a whirl, my axe, and let's go all the way. So basically, if you got the Great Malenko, the Jekyll Brothers, or the Bizarre Bazaar, you pretty much have this CD. And what's even worse, they didn't even try. Straight up nothing, and just on a black disc with a bunch of annoying freaking words on it. Alright, this is ICP's Forgotten Freshness, or Featured Freshness. <laughs> Two CDs deep. You got a family disc and you got a homies disc. There's one on here, even though it's backwards. There's one on here that features Kid Rock. Now they're dissing each other on this song and they put them under homies. As far as I know, nothing has changed, but whatever. Now the family one is what ICP was featured on. So like Twisted, Boondocks, um, what else? Uh, Blazes, so that's what they're featured on. And then it was also this one, what they're featured of, other people were featured on theirs. So like I Shot a Hater, capital E, which was, yeah. And then Ice-T, so it's actually a pretty good one. There's three, I believe there's three, no, two, no, three, <laughs> that were previously unreleased <clears throat> or hard to get. Underground Hot Street Banger, which I'm pretty sure is on a different CD. Danger Party, that wasn't. And Surviv Surviving the Game with Paris, which was freaking awesome, because Paris is awesome. Okay, now for the newest one, the Mighty Death Pop. Nice box on it, too. And if I can get the freaking things out. I actually wasn't disappointed with the CD. I liked it. Um, 
I like a lot of stuff on this. Here's the CD. Yeah, there you go. Now my favorite tracks on this were probably, oh geez, Shooting Stars was pretty good, all about like killing Chris Brown. Uh, Scream, of course, because it has Tech Nine and Pops in on it, and it was just a good song regardless. And Dog Catchers, because I never liked Dog the Bounty Hunter. So, I mean, it's a pretty good CD. Other people have been disappointed with it. I don't know why. But, and then you got covered, smothered songs and chunked, which are cover songs. Some of them are a little weird. Uh, they got Jump Around, Shout, which is an 80s song, and it's really funny, featuring boys. Ain't no future in your front, front and hold still with Downtown Brown. Bitch better have my money with Fred Durst. I think he actually did better than what I was expecting. Night of the Bass Heads, beautiful, Christina Aguilera remix. Mind playing tricks on me with ABK and Little White. State of Shock, love for them gangsters with Cold 187. That's a damn good song. And my favorite one out of all of them is Guess My Religion by Willie D. Awesome, awesome. And then I got the white version as well. Now I'm not going to show the, the CD because it's the same. But this one comes with Extra Pop Emporium. I might have actually got these mixed up, so this might actually go with the red. I should have checked on that before I did this video. And it has a bunch of like remixes from, from the Mighty Death Pop with some unreleased stuff and the ones that I like was up your ass that was just that was hilarious uh, they had one that was a little Krayshawn the one with Krayshawn that one when I'm clowning <clears throat> that was lowered but yeah so I mean all in all not a bad CD unlike what other, some other people who were saying okay Rolling real quick, Abominations. This is actually coming out very soon, the 22nd, and so is Cold 187. And if you pre-order it, both the CDs, then you get uh, the Cypher 1, 2, 3, and 4. So, get your pre-orders in. So anyway, this is the, the second part. Next part will be either the update for Abominations and Cold 187 and the bonus CD, or it'll be DVDs. So till next time, peace.